that was not necessary. I'll decide what's necessary. Oh, what's going oh, on, ladies? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Too hot in here. Yeah, but it's... Listen, it's, guys, it's there's be... there's a background noise. It's because it's there's it's like a 10 by 10 room, and there's 12 and, computers and, and 36 monitors and 14 lights. Ah, uh, but I feel like it's going to be all those so numbers, annoying. All those numbers are extremely over overestimated. But I feel like it's going to be so annoying for them. Oh, my God. Put it on fan. Yeah, I got a remote for my AC. What you say about it? Cerebro here for T3G along with... Full Throttle. And we're here to talk about some TV shows. Yeah. And um, there's a lot of cool stuff starting this season. A lot. A lot of cool Too stuff. Too much. Uh, we haven't done a lot of TV movie stuff lately. No, we uh, haven't. Just because really there's only been like three or four movies. And, and Well, here's the thing. We, were we did do that see, Fantastic Four movie here's thing. The, here's the thing. We were going to see a lot of movies this year. And we now, did. We saw quite a few. Not as many as we listed off. But that being said, watch our Fantastic Four review and save yourself some money and time. Please. That being that said, something. let's talk about something that we haven't done, which we should have done at the be ending of last season, about which I is Zombie. Finish I Zombie, uh, which we have when it was finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we, we, just, we just decided to make the well, video We watched now. it. We just never got around yeah, to so making Yeah, so that this. being said, let's go right into it. I, I love the last couple episodes. Yeah. It, I think it really got... Interesting, um, major story, major story, major for, for a minute, major almost seemed to me like Matt did on Nip Tuck, where it just felt like they didn't they know didn't what know they wanted to, to do. Yeah, they didn't know what they wanted to do with him, so like they had a hat with a bunch of stuff that could happen to someone, and they just dug things out, and they're like, well, this week this is happening. Because <laughs> uh, if you watch, if you ever watched Nip Tuck, that's what happened with Matt's character. That's an amazing show, by the way. It is a really good show. But. I like Major's story at the end. I, I think he got a, like, realistically speaking, he got a little too Rambo, too Punisher-y at the end for Punisher. me. A little too fast. Right. I'm not saying it's not possible for him to become that guy. But, like, we didn't see any but just training. Like, That's the, we he, saw like, we saw some YouTube videos. We saw research. And all of a sudden, but there he's no in there. Blackout. But he was Rambo. Blackout. He walked in there and he was Rambo. But I do want to say this. We did get everything, right? So you were right, I was right, and then we were wrong, all right? Yeah. So... You said you wanted him to die. Yeah. He died. Totally died. I said I wanted him to be a zombie. He became a zombie. He then became a zombie. But then he also got cured. All in one episode. And it was all—it was very much like a guilt trip because he was like, "Oh, so you just made that decision for me? You didn't make it. You didn't like. You didn't talk to me about my feelings. I don't want to be a zombie." And she was like, "Listen, shut up. Cured. You're cured. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. We're done." It's why, over. Did you, why did you tell it's me you were a zombie? Over. Because maybe you wouldn't have believed me and you thought I was crazy, or you would have shot me after I ate a brain in front of right, you. you. I don't you know. You wanted to kill all the zombies. All so, of them, bro. All of them. What was I supposed to say? Right. Regardless, I still think his story ended fine. I think yeah, now yeah, they did a good job. They might be able to like make him a regular human being now. Well, although not necessarily. I, although they I think could. like he should still be a badass. I think they're gonna really gonna go with the dramatic side of things, and I hate to be right on that. I I, I think I mean I hope I'm wrong. Gonna, I, I just hope I'm I would wrong. like them to turn him into like the the vigilante badass. Oh, that would be out. great! I want him to be Punisher <laughs> in I Zombie, uh, <laughs> the I Zombie Punisher. Listen, that would be awesome. The zombie Punisher. But I am truly worried that they might go with the dramatic side of things. Like, I mean, oh, why don't you never tell me? Here's the thing: it's the CW. That's what they do. They do drama. I guess that's true. But here's the thing. I think they're. I, I think the show is still going to be good. Uh, Listen, so Blaine was cured at the end, right? But now in the trailer, they're showing Blaine back and. Still pale hair, still pale yeah, skin. But like, listen, he's clearly going to find a way to become a zombie again. Either he's going to make somebody make him a zombie. I think that's a bad life or decision. He's gonna, oh yeah, that is a bad life decision. Oh, I want to keep eating brains. Um, or he's going to have he's got some leftover drinks that made him a zombie in the first place. I mean, so, I suppose that's possible. You know what I, I'm saying? So I I like that guy. Uh, I I just call him Sark always because he was on on Alias as Sark. So that's that's I really like him as a character. I like him as a as a, as a artist. Or I mean, actor. That's the word. Actor. Actor. <laughs> actor. Uh, I really like him. I, I, he's really good at what he does. He kind of plays this jackass bad guy really well. Right. And I want him to stay around. I just don't want him to be like the patsy bad guy. Like okay, so we have the. 
the 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 Max Rager conglomerate. They're really the bad guys. But at the same time, you have your like local bad guy, which is which is Blaine. Blaine. And it's like he could like not be the bad guy. Right. Let's just go after Max Rager and figure out what the hell's going on. So I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about him coming back. I think, but I think it'll be a good show. Here's the thing. Here's what I feel. I feel like. Max Ranger is going to be something that's in the background. Oh, no, they can't. They can't. They really if come they're the ones head on. If because they, they're and they know now and they know they're about literally zombies. going to make. They want to make more zombies on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. Yeah. So, like, they can't be a background bad guy because they're literally trying to ruin the world. They're trying to do Resident Evil stuff, basically. Yeah, they're trying to be Umbrella Court. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting. I don't know. I think it's Listen, overall, I liked, I loved how the last see, the last episode went. There was a lot of things going on. I love the captain redeemed himself. That was great. Because I, he clearly... He wasn't the, happy throughout with the, situation. When you find out that he's a zombie, you can tell that he wasn't happy that he had to deal with Blaine and eat brains and all that. So, you know. Yeah, I think, I think it definitely... His story was cleared up. Yeah. His redeeming point was there. Yeah. I, I like you know, at the end you liked him, so that's that's where I was at. So yeah. I, I think it ended really well. I mean I'm excited to see the second season. It's not like a man, I can't wait excitement. So it's just kinda like it's part of what I watch, so I just I wanna see the next episode. It's not I think this this could be a show that could just stay on and not really have to deliver High caliber, high octane action. Yeah, I for mean, me to for me to like be excited to watch it. Like I think I'll be always be the same amount excited to watch it. Yeah, like I wasn't like excited like I am for like The Walking Dead or something, but it was still better than you know. Like, here's the thing: it was better than Gotham. It was better than. Uh, I mean, I liked Gotham in the literally in the beginning, but then that season finale was like just mid-season. another episode. The mid season finale. Uh, was just another episode, and then the second half was I don't even know what. So that being said, I enjoyed it more than Gotham overall. So, I mean, you're right. They could keep it at this level, and my want to watch it is going to be the same. I'll watch it. Sure. You know, it's not crazy excited about it, but I enjoyed I I like I love the actors. I think all the actors, they just do a great job. Um, I like the story. I like the way it goes. I like the fact that there is a cure for the zombie stuff. Yeah. You know, I like all that. So I think I think overall it's still a fun show, even if I'm not crazy excited for it. So, yeah, right. absolutely, you're right. I think they can keep going the way they are. They don't have to really change up anything, go anything crazy, and it'll still people will watch it. Absolutely. Yeah. And on that level, it's, let's talk about Gotham. Yeah. Yeah. So the new, the new trailer shows a couple interesting little pieces. So if you if you didn't watch the end of the last season, the, the quick roundup is, we said goodbye to the mob story. Right. Because Maroney's dead. Falcone's in Florida. Falcone's in Florida, and Fish, Fish Moody's, Moody's dead. definitely dead. They did say they were trying they're, to no, see no, if they were trying to bring her back. Like, back. listen, she did not survive 70, that. 70 feet. She, 70 she feet into survive. water. If you're an experienced diver, you could still break your legs. And that was like 200. And that was way more than 70 feet and she was not ready for it and I'm presuming that Fish Mooney is not an experienced diver. Yeah. So no matter what happens, if they try to play this somehow she survived nonsense, I'm not watching that show anymore. And listen, I always keep forgetting her first part of her name. Jada? Jada. Jada Pinkett Smith is a phenomenal actress. She really is. And in the beginning, Fish Mooney was like, all right, cool, Fish Mooney. And only, but then, to me, only the first couple episodes. Yeah, and the first couple episodes. But here's the thing. She didn't make Fish Mooney bad. The writers had no idea what they were doing with Fish. Yeah. That's the problem, and it, that's what ruined that character. Here's the thing. Having more than two mob bosses duking it out for the throne... Well, it was more like... Four, because you had Penguin, he had his... And you know, Penguin was trying to come up with the organization, thing, right. Yeah. Then you had Moroni, you had Falcone, and then you had Moody. But in any, so. in any mob story, at least in my experience, from what I've seen and how, how things work out, when you have more than two, it it's, becomes it's a little ugly. convoluted. Yeah, yeah. Look look at something like Sopranos. Sopranos was six seasons to, like, wet out the mess. Like, you had the one boss, 
and then you had some other dudes, and then the, the other side. Right. But, like, you never had more than two dudes actively kind of duking it out, because then it just gets messy. It does. And it did. It got it did. real it really freaking did. messy. And that's the thing, is you try to fit that also while not knowing what you want to do with this show, at least from as a viewer, you, I'm, you're, I'm looking at it, they don't know what they want to do with it. They don't know how to really... They don't know what time frame it's in. They don't know what they want to do with Gordon. They really don't know what time Barbara frame Barbara Gordon is. is now... I don't know. Psychopath? I don't know what the hell's wrong yeah, with we her don't now. Know. No, yeah. You know, and here's I wish thing. she died. I just... I'm sorry. I mean, listen, nothing listen, against here's the, the actress. That character is another character. They just have no... That's, that's another man. That's almost, another... They had no idea what they were doing with that thing. character. I almost expect that this show is going to go just real fast into Batman. Or at least some form of Batman. Because here's the thing. They need to, though. I don't think they can run the show any other way. Because here's the thing. You can't have this story of how Jim Gordon becomes commissioner. Also, well, actually, he was a lieutenant. So, so he just needs to get into that office. So, he needs to become lieutenant before he can com become commissioner. Right. So, him becoming lieutenant, because that's around the time when Batman shows up. So, this story of him becoming lieutenant and, like, growing up with his fiance, soon-to-be wife... Because now she's crazy. Yeah. And you can't play that game. No. Now, I'm perfectly fine if he uh, gets together with the other girl. I always forget the, her name. The doctor. The doctor. Yeah, whatever. We forgot. Bruce's friend, whatever. Yeah. She's in on the she's in on the uh, on the identity, at least in the, the animated series. But I really hope that he gets with her. And that we just kind of put Barbara to the wayside. Here's because the thing. That's, again, that was definitely a character where they, they had no clue they had no what clue. they were doing. No, they, they and they it were was like, just oh. like... She was like, oh, she's drug addict um, this week. I'm um, um, definitely now she's a lesbian. I'm um, definitely now she's uh, at her parents' house. Yeah, like at first she was like, oh, I'm on your side. I don't care how bad it gets. Yeah, I'm with and you. And then literally the next episode, it's like, no, this is too bad. This is nuts. This I'm is the way. Out of here. Listen, I I said bad, but I mean this is like insanity, and I'm just not cool. Yeah, with that. I don't but care then I'm gonna become gets, a psychopath except, after a drug addict and bad. drunk. Uh, listen, are they going a different route with Barbara's character? Yeah, but listen, at the same time, they they don't know where they are with this show. They wanted a show before Batman. They're not doing that. Because if they wanted a show before Batman... The first half of the season was definitely Gotham before Batman. Right. There were some weirdo, like, bad guys. Sure. But at the same time, it was all things that the police could handle. And the police did handle. Right. In, in the second half time of out. the season... Time in. Where were we? I don't even know. I don't know Gotham. Where we start. Yeah, Gotham. My point is, the second half of the season was like, oh, villains and just like like really out there stuff to the level of now season two is going to be the rise of rise the villains. Of villains right. And that's cool. Like as a viewer, like oh, like young crazy Joker, like on the rise. They've got some really cool new talent coming in. Some really got actors. I'm excited about Joker. I really am. What I just saw in the trailer, the trailer I looks thought great. it was awesome. The trailer yeah. looks great. I think Joker. I like in season one. That the was, trailer that was the me best excited. moment in season one. Is that switch? Oh my god! Where he was Jeremy or Joshua or whatever something with Jeremy because it was I think it was Jeremy. I think it was Jeremy. So when he was Jeremy from the circus and like he didn't know what was going on. He's kind of like clueless. He's like this, you know, this like whatever, whatever, whatever. It almost looks like he's about to start crying. He's like, <laughs> and then he just cuts into that laugh, and that freaked me out. I thought that was the best performance in the entire first season. So I'm really glad that they brought him. I back. wouldn't say freaked me out, but it definitely gave me close to goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that. That he did a good job. He did. Yeah, listen, that's he what I'm got, saying. Listen, he, he got a compliment from uh, Nicholson, I believe, Jack yeah. Nicholson. So. 
listen, you get a comment from one of the guys that's supposed to be one of the best Jokers ever. Uh, well, good I'm, job. I'm yeah. I'm I'm excited to see what they do with him. They look like they're bringing in some other characters. Was that Ariana Grande in the trailer? No idea. I don't, don't know. even care. All I know is there's a bunch of new characters coming out. There's a new actor. There's the British guy. The that, British guy uh, who seems to be kind of like a coach form of some sort. Yeah, he was like, keep that laugh. The yeah, yeah, the laugh is good. Do that. The laugh is good. Do that. Oh, I mean, that guy, listen, he's, he's been he's place. been everywhere. He's been in uh, The Tudors. He was in Grimm. I think he might still be in Grimm. Maybe not. I mean, if he's coming over to Gotham, I'm a season behind. I think that's is, I think that's who he is. He was in Gone in 60 Seconds. He was the bad guy. No, he wasn't. Okay. Maybe no, I'm that's wrong. not the guy. Okay. That's, that's not the guy. That's Eccleston. That's not the guy that's playing uh, Bridget. Okay. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, and there was plenty of other stuff. And listen, he's a great actor, so to have him come in... Here's the thing. A lot of these actors that we're seeing are great actors, okay? The guy that played uh, uh, Maroney, we've seen him in Dexter. I, yeah, I love Angel. Angel. Angel was fantastic. Like, he, I think Angel he did a great, great job as Maroney. I yeah. thought it was interesting. It was a crazy switch, because I, I was like, oh, it's Angel. And then I watched him to be this mobster, and I'm like, hell well, yeah. What, what really <laughs> killed me is that, like... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I know him to be Hispanic. Right. For him to play an Italian dude was really weird to yeah. me. Because I'm just looking at him like, I mean, like I get it. It was good though. He did a good he job. He did a great job. Yeah, it was yeah. just like I couldn't let it go yeah, in yeah. my head. Every time Listen, I saw him in my head, I was like, Ain't Regardless, this isn't a review of the series. This is us talking about the trailer, and I am super excited. Um, they definitely, at some point, listen, if this is Rise of the Villains, and we're going to see Joker in his early style. We need a We're going to see Riddler. We're going to see... Gordon's not the hero for this. I'm He's sorry. He's not, bro. He's I'm not. sorry. He just can't be. Batman fights these villains for a reason. Normal cops do not. So at some point, it's going to have to skip five years for Bruce Wayne to be at least closer to 20 I, I think we're to fight have, crime. I think we're going to have a 15-year-old Batman. It wouldn't, if, like they, a, a there's vigilante. no way. Kid vigilante. There's no way they would do that in this show. I don't know, man. I don't think they would. I don't know. Although we are going to see the Batcave. Well, it'll be... The cave. The cave. It won't be Batcave. So, but regardless, I don't know. I think, it's, I think I'm excited. The trailer was done really well. The so trailer did excited. a great job. But I, that being said... I expect there to be a lot of things that I'm not going to like this season. Just because that was what happened last season. Here's the thing. The last season was not great. So I'm going in with low expectations. Anything better than that, just like the... Just like fan fantastic, fan four stick, fan four stick. Um, just like that, I'm going into low expectations. So anything better than that is good enough for me. So yeah, I agree. There you go. Let's talk about something new. Um, if you guys don't know, CBS is coming out with Supergirl, and the trailers have been out. That we got three trailers out so far, and. If we're being honest, the pilot is out on the interwebs. Yeah, and if you uh, haven't gotten you, a chance to see it, it's very easy. It's out there. I it. mean, realistically, between the three trailers, you pretty much get the gist of the you whole do. trailer. You do. So here are the things that kind of... Here are my, my, my three main beefs with that show. One is the costume. Costume... It's... Why the skirt? The skirt is unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it looks good. If you're going to give somebody a skirt and then give them really dark leggings, it just doesn't make sense. Stylistically. Stylistically. Here, so, the current Supergirl in the comics has a pants-based suit. Just give her pants. See, here's the thing. I've already argued this on social media before when people posted up the suit when it was first announced. And I said, why go with the skirt? I found a picture from what you reminded me Smallville comic books. The not Smallville the series. season 11 season or 12, 11, comic. 12 comic book. In there, she has a perfect pant slash like trench coat. Yeah, it's Kara like, it's it's from Smallville a couple years later. They're red and blue. And she's got this beautiful costume. It's perfect. And it's, it's like a trench perfect. coat kind of thing. I just It's perfect. Listen, for, and I, will always, say, I will always skirt. say this. What we see on TV and movies is a different universe than what we see in the comics. Just like the comics, the comics alone have a ridiculous amount of universes. Yeah. So this is a different universe. They don't need to stick 100% with what's in the comics. As long as they stick very close to what's in the comics, 
I'm happy. They can still do things different. That's why I was perfectly fine with Man of Steel suit, and that's why I would have been perfectly fine with a pant suit for Supergirl. It, the skirt doesn't make sense. And the skirt has stockings. Like, it's not like you see her legs. She still right. has something under there, so why not just go with pants instead? It just doesn't make sense. I think they could have designed a really cool suit. You look at something like X Men; they had a full body suit. Yeah, you look at full body. You look at uh, Black Widow and the Avengers. Yeah, full body suit. Yeah. Still not looks listen. great. Still sexy. But here's the thing: it's just it's unnecessary. It's not. Necessary. She's a flyer. It's impractical. It is impractical. They're just like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land, and as I'm landing, it's just gonna. Now be I will skirt. say this: the suit does look better than the pictures yes. that were released. Yeah, in the actual show, it looks better. Regardless, it's still not good. Yeah, it's so. I, I want it to be so much more. I love the little nods. You've got Dean Kane playing her dad. You've which got is cool. the original Supergirl, Supergirl playing, playing her adopted her, mom. Yep. Um, so that's cool. Those are little little nods. Jimmy but is fifty. Jimmy is. 40, 50 years old? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Let's be We're serious. Around, he's like, like 35. Exists, he's right? like mid, mid 30s, late 30s, which doesn't make any sense. He's not Jimmy. He's James. He's James Olsen. He's James Olsen. He's here's, not Jimmy. Here's the problem. So, Superman's obviously been around for a long time because... I mean, if Jimmy's in Jim, his 30s... Jimmy's in his 30s. Let's, let's say 30s. He's been around for at least Has to. 20 years. Has to. So Superman's been around for 20 years. She has been on Earth for 5 to 10 years, let's say. Right. Uh, here's my problem with all of this. Why are we then dancing around saying the word Superman? In this entire episode, it's him and he and your cousin. Sorry, I was just checking something. I uh, was just checking the volume. Yes. Uh, you know, it's, it's him and he. It's just the, all these like pronouns, whereas... We just don't want to say the word Superman. And then when we go to name her, we say Supergirl. And, like, and, and even, and it, they even compared it, but they compared it by saying, the, like, the Daily Planet got to name him, why can't I name her? Right. Not even, like, they they, they called him Superman, why can't she be Super? It's just one of those things Although that I do feel me. like they did I like say the Superman felicity in one of boss. the scenes. I like the Felicity as her boss. Is it Felicity? No. No, no, no! It's the other one. It's the um, the lawyer, Calissa Flockhart. Flockhart. Uh, what was the lawyer? Allie McBeal. Allie, Allie McBeal is her boss. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. She's super. I mean, she's showing her age. She still or, looks good. Or her or her plastic surgery. She know, looks good. Showing. I'm sorry. She still looks good. I'm not just talking. Wrong. She uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, listen, she looks good. That's all I'm going to anyway, say. Anyway, uh, I love... I really like her as an actress. Uh, pretty much in everything I've seen her. I never really liked that show, but I just like her and the way she acts. Here's the thing, though. Everybody did a good job in this first episode. Um, the trailers... They're better than Wonder Woman trailers. Uh, they're better... Uh, the trailers I, are better than I the didn't watch pilot the, I didn't watch the pilot of Wonder Woman, but from the pictures I saw, mm. this looks 150 mm. times better. Mm. So Yeah, no, it's definitely better. It's by far better. Uh, I would say, while not as bad as Fantastic, uh Wonder Woman pilot is pro it's pretty low. Yeah. Uh, a few things are as bad as Fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, just Here's if you don't believe us, just watch our review and then uh, yeah, save yourself money and time and headaches. So here, here's the thing. I so the the, the second that was the second beef is that they keep dancing around his name, mm -hmm. and uh, the third beef is definitely that it just seems like they 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 wrote this concept of okay, so the the villains got loose from when from the prison from the Phantom Zone right. when you got to Earth. Okay, so now it's like her fault and her or her obligation to go help, even mm -hmm. though there is already an organization that's been working to get to get them back mm -hmm. under control. So now you have this opportunity of showing off a lot of really cool classic villains, and that's cool. But my beef is that's really formulaic. That it just doesn't seem like this show is going to be character driven. At least not as of yet. It just seems like not as of first episode. As of the pilot, as of you know the trailers and what what they're talking about, I just don't see the character growth. Because it's like okay, now she's Supergirl. 
she's grown. That was her character growth. Uh, from being like, ah, I should hide and I shouldn't tell people. And then it's like, no, I'm not hiding. This plane's crashing. I'm going to go handle this. And now I'm not hiding. Let's make me a suit. I'm going to go handle my business. I will and say now I'm this. handling my business. I and will say this. That's the episode. I'm happy they're not going Smallville style. So she is Supergirl. She's not a yeah. care Like, I mean, she's not the blur. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Smallville, at least, Smallville started with, let's build this character and m- see him grow. Sure. I'm fine with her starting as Supergirl. I just don't see what else she could grow into. Here's the thing. Like, um, she doesn't have a goal at this point. And I just, like, aside think, from, I like, think, this, like... I think the it's goal like World of Warcraft. Like, you go, you go back to the dungeons, you, you fight the dude, you come back, you have new gear. So it's like, yeah, she might fight a dude, get more experience, and just, like, fight the next dude but who I might think, be more difficult. But here's the thing. But, like, I think the goal is to going to be to be a stronger self. Like, right now, they're portraying her as, like... This person that doesn't have great self esteem can't stand up for herself and is always second guessing herself. So By for the, way, the she first, she's godlike power. Right. But she has low yeah. self esteem. Uh, so, so if you have low self esteem, think about that for a minute <laughs> and just just understand that. So that being even said, the first season is definitely I think going to revolve around her growing and accepting. I really hope like the first half being, of the season revolves around that. And right. Going to something well, it depends. A depends. More. I, I just, truly, I, I truly want there to be something bigger. Here's the thing. I truly wish that everything DC stayed on CW, so there's a bunch of crossovers. I think that just would be smart. It would make but sense. It would just make sense. I just, I wish, I, I, same thing. I, I wish it was on CW because then you could go into the Vandal Savage storyline. Oh my it's gonna god, be in so Legends. Things, you yeah. go, like, there's just so many things so you can play things. with, and I hope that they bring it together. Even if they were to say, "All right, well, we're gonna do it in the same universe as Titans," maybe if they're they're in their own little separate universe, that would still bug me because they're not with the CW crew. But just something to give her something to do. I want there to be something bigger than just these, like, 150 or whatever escape convicts. Like, here's the thing. That's a tangible numerical n- numeric goal, and that doesn't really strike me as a really great right. basis for a show. Right. I want there to be a looming threat that only she knows about, and if she tells Superman about it, they kill everybody. Right. You know, so- something that, like, is just hers. Because here's the thing. In the trailer, she says, Earth doesn't only have one hero now, they have Supergirl. So what you're telling me is there's no other heroes. It's just Superman and Supergirl. There's no Flash, here's, there's no Batman, here's the there's problem. no Green Arrow, there's with no that, Green Lantern, there's nobody. Right, with that, you're telling me that if things get bad enough, she can't just be like, hey Clark, and then he shows up. Right. Like, She'll have to and, rely and on... why wouldn't she so be able to? So she and like, why wouldn't she be able to? So... Little little spoiler: the military does show up in the first episode. So what? She'll rely on the military the entire time. Let's be serious. She's fighting somebody as powerful it's, as her. It's or almost even... literally the exact opposite of what they're doing with Man of Steel. Yeah, it's like the military is the bad guys. Kind of, they're like they're wanting to get get him reined in. Whereas in this one, they're like, go handle your business. Right. Uh, okay. All right. Th- that's cool of you to say. Right. Not like. We'd like to keep you under obser- observation. Well, they, they did say st- they still play around with wanting to keep her on the wraps and under surveillance. It just—it's one like of those things that, to me, I, I want—I just want there to be something bigger because if there's not something bigger, we're literally just going to watch the bumbling comedy at her workplace, and then her sneaking out to fight the this week's villain. Right. And it's just going to be it. I don't want this like this show can't be iZombie. No. Like, I'm okay with iZombie having, like, a little bit of hijinks, and then we go, we stop the dude, cool, we're done. I'm okay with that. No, no, this show, this show is so much bigger, and there's so much more power, just literal, physical power. Uh, so we just, this show can't become something that's, like, just, like, small and procedural. It, there just needs to be something bigger than this. So, I, final I thoughts. Trailers were okay. The first pilot, the first episode of the pilot was alright. Um, really wish they went with a different suit. And we'll see how the story unfolds. If it doesn't do good, you'll see what happens. So, yeah. on to Flash. Yeah. So, I really like how the last season ended. Uh, the trailers... They've been really coy with the trailers. Very, very they, coy. They're a lot, a lot little, less showing than other bits, people. Little bits yeah. here and there, but here's the thing. They're key bits. Jay Garrick. Awesome. Right. Jay Garrick Earth 2. They show that little picture. We'll, we'll have it on screen for you guys. Of uh, the, the Flash of Two Earths. Amazing. I'm just super excited about that. Uh, the costume looks interesting for Jay Garrick. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for that. 
there's just a lot of cool stuff that that's gonna show. Zoom is gonna be coming. Flash has blue lightning. I was gonna, just gonna say a lot of people are assuming that Zoom is the blue lightning, but it's actually Flash. There is a little teaser trailer, and they show Barry. And then they show his face, and then you see blue lightning in his eye, and then he zips through the city. I'm hoping... It's Barry. I'm hoping that that's his, like, reality-shifting lightning. Which would make sense. Uh, yeah, because I, mean, I think after, after going after, through the wormhole, right. comes back, and now he's going to have this, you know, regular running, regular lightning, and then he's going to be like, alright, I need to... I need to... I need to find wells in this alternate force. dimension. So he just, like, shifts... The polarity or whatever. I don't know the term. Or the speed force, whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, well, it's got to be, it's the same. There's only one speed force. There's actually, technically, a little factoid for you kids out there. There is only one speed force across the universes. Okay, cool. So, that being said, uh, listen, I really don't have much to say. They haven't shown too much. They've shown little interesting things. I'm super excited because the way they ended the season, I'm super excited because the season, first season was absolutely amazing. Uh, and the last episode was perfect for a TV episode, and I can't wait for the music. I'm not uh, gonna say much more about that. Yeah, I'm super excited for that. I'm excited for that, and I'm excited for for Arrow. I'm I'm excited for Arrow, but me and you both agree that Arrow's last episode wasn't the best. So that being said, <sighs> it, it's gonna be interesting. You're not too excited about the armor. Here's the thing. I, like I love the fact is. that it's Star City. Right. Uh, like, Starling City, I don't know. I'm, you know, here's the thing. Almost certainly, it was some sort of legal rights issue thing that they had to deal with. So, that's why it was Starling City. Because I don't... I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just like a, a, a short, short run kind of guy. But I don't think they planned four seasons ahead to release Starling into Star City. You know, I, I think they would have done that sooner if they could have. Because at the beginning of season three is the first time they said anything about Star City. Right. Well, here's the thing. They definitely have planned ahead, though. They've definitely yeah, planned I mean, a lot course. ahead. Uh, maybe not necessarily for the whole Starling slash Star City thing, but they've they've definitely planned. I mean, far yeah. Ahead. But I just I'm glad it's going to be Star City. Um, I, I I don't love the new costume. I just. It looks like a really weird mishmash of kind Here's of, the thing. of I don't Hawkeye mind and Green Arrow. Right, I don't the, mind. Like, open the... pieces, which the open pieces are unnecessary. So it just, again, it's really confusing to me. Well, I don't mind the new costume. I'm not super excited for it, but I mean, I like the little bits, like the little shoulder stuff, definitely the guards for the... That makes sense, because I have shot a bow before, and I'm not great at it. I'm but not even thing. good Here, at it's it. it's open. I thought it was closed. No, it's open here and it's open here. I thought this was closed. Yeah, it's, it goes like this. On a, there's an armor on this side, but not on the inside. That's what bugs me about it. That doesn't make sense, because <laughs> when you shoot a bow, there is a tendency that the bow will sometimes get yeah, this part. Str the string so the whole point and why you see guards on people's arms on professional bows, um, the reason they archers. have that is... Or archers, thank you is the reason they have that is because there is a tendency for the actual uh, string of the bow to get your forearm. Uh, it's not because you're bad, it's something because it can't happen. So yeah. that's why you have it on this end. I can understand on this end for maybe when he's fighting yeah, sure. protection, but why not have it on both? Yeah, and it just doesn't so make I didn't sense. Know that. I he, thought I saw that it was on both. he did have it, and now he doesn't. I just, it just I thought it was on both, but it, apparently if that's I mean, you guys right. will see it on screen. Yeah. I've got a couple pictures for you guys. But it, it's just... I don't know. I, I'm not super excited for that. I am super excited for Diggle's new outfit, which that looks awesome. Looks good. I hope they, they call him the Guardian. Yeah, the, the rumor is that he's going to be Guardian. I'm cool with that. Perfectly fine yeah, with I'm that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Because what, what was the other rumor? The Black Butler? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That was one of the rumors. It uh, might have been a rumor or it might have been a joke. I mean, whatever it was. I think, I just, I think I just he thought might that have was just a stupid. joke once or something like that. And then it just like kind of... Which was, wasn't that an anime? That is an anime. The Black <laughs> Butler is an anime. But anyway, so I, I, really like, I, I like his... Black I, I do see in the trailer that Sa they're going to do the Sarah thing in the tr in the show, which is cool, and it makes sense, because if the trailer for Legends makes sense, where they they already have Sarah, right. that means they have to resolve that yeah. beforehand. And it's going to have Constantine, so... And yeah, so what, what happened is, because Constantine was cancelled, they... Some sort of backroom deal or whatever the hell happened. Let's just say that Matt, Stephen Amell. I always forget his damn name. Matt, Matt what? 
I don't know his name. It's well, whatever. Whatever. Matt, but whatever Stephen Amell really went for. He he wanted him. He to wanted come him over. to come back. He want he didn't want to. He was disappointed the show got canceled. He wanted him to be in their universe, and he got it going. And you know what? I mean, I'm Stephen super Amell, excited about it. Stephen Amell's got a huge audience on social media, and it worked out to their advantage. And now they got constantly on the show. And I'm and perfectly fine with it. He like, should I'm be a regular. He should be a regular, definitely on. Both Flash and Arrow, maybe more on Arrow than Flash, just because Arrow's a little more darker and it deals with death and stuff like that. And definitely on Legends. I mean, I don't see why he couldn't be on. I Legends. don't see why not on Legends. If they don't bring a Constantine show to CW, I hope they do. Which bring, I hope they do. I hope they do either that or some sort of kind of like a Justice League Dark, the rumored the rumored movie that was supposed to come out with. A, Characters like well, not even Constantine. rumored. It was just more like shit being thrown out there from random people. They're like, "Oh, we'd like to see this." But sure. Well, I mean, the what people want. Regardless, some people want to see that, and I don't think that'd be a good movie. Uh, just like I don't think it would be. I don't think I, like an Agent of Shield movie would be good. Right. I, I do I like think, the show. I think uh, I think that would be really tough to do as a good movie. I, think, just, it, I, I think, think it would work more as with, a series than anything. Yeah. Well, we, especially because you know something. A quick history lesson for you guys. Originally, when Blade Trinity came out back in the day, that was supposed to be kind of like the pilot or the launch point for a series called Darkstalkers, where it was going to be Hannibal King, it was going to be all the people from there, Whistler's Daughter, all that stuff. They were all going to go, and they were going to kind of, as a team, go and hunt demons and vampires and all this stuff. And that kind of fell apart and then just turned into the Blade TV series, which I realized I didn't know. I've never seen it, actually. But it is an actual follow-up to oh, the yeah. movies. Um, so that's kind of what I want to, to see here is something of a supernatural hunting show, kind of like a Grimm or, you know, yeah. uh, a super, supernatural, supernatural. <laughs> uh, but something like that where you've got this group of people with varied talents and they're going to go out and they're going to do Yeah, call thing. it Justice League Dark and guess what? You got a show. Yeah, I mean, call it Justice League Dark. Don't even call it Justice League Dark. Call it... I think they called them uh, call it Secret, Justice League Dark. Secret Six. They called it in the comics. Whatever, call it Secret so, Six. Not Secret Six. Whatever. Something. I forget what it's called. Whatever. I but, don't know because I don't know anything about that series. <laughs> so I'm just going with what I, this guy. Said. Listen. Regardless, I think it'd be cool. We're excited for Arrow. I'm just, glad he's going to be. There. We're excited for Arrow. I'm excited just to kind of see how they do this. How they bring. Clearly, she lets him come. Because in the trailer, you see that they're happy. They're in their house. In their little suburban house, and like well, they're they making out, him. and they're like, "Oh, we need you." We and need then the it looks like she lets him go back. Is she? Uh, it almost looks like she made the new suit. Yeah, or she does the unveiling. Yeah. and uh, I don't know. I, I think it's interesting, interesting that they're gonna how they're gonna play that. Um, listen, I liked Arrow until this last season. I still like Arrow. It's just this last season had way too much of the drama that I didn't want. Uh, and listen, the other seasons had drama. This was to an extent where it was all drama and not enough fun action. Right. Where the previous ones, like season one, he killed people. And I get it. He can't be killing people because he's going to change that amount. But still, if I got action to the point where he's killing people, I should still have action with the drama that you're trying to show too. So, right. And there was action in his last season. It just There was. A, it was just a, too much drama. It, yeah, it, it too much that kind of drama. It definitely yeah, it focused more on the drama, it focused more on the story development because I think this was more of like a setup right. season because it needed to set up the Lazarus Pit for Legends. I think it needed to set up quite a few things and and having to mix in the crossovers with. Although it'll be interesting to see because obviously Speedy didn't come back normally as she was, so it will be interesting to see how. Black Canary becomes White Canary because I'm assuming white means she's all hopeful and nice and an angel, but she was really nice when before she died and if she comes back through the Lazarus Pit when that make her more crazy. And well, I mean, and everybody. That I don't know. Listen, everybody that comes back from the Lazarus, everybody that goes into the Lazarus Pit comes out crazy. Jason because Todd, it affects, by the way. It, it affects your mind. Um, well, Jason Todd seems to have remained crazy. Everybody that comes out go, it comes out crazy, but then, then like fixes it, and and like within a few minutes or hours or whatever, it chills out. Just like with with her, she yeah. came out, didn't remember her stuff, kind of went crazy, and then over sure. a few hours, whatever, whatever. She came back. I'm excited. I can't wait to see. It's um, I I don't have anything else to say. If you want to say some more things, no, I'm, that's, I'm good. We can move on. I can't I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So, uh, let's speaking of uh, Agents of Shield, uh, it was like five minutes ago now. Five but, minutes ago, <laughs> uh, I. 
can't wait. I can't um, wait for season three. I just watched the trailer. I did not see the trailer. Interesting, you pointed out the whole... Uh, I love the fact that she calls herself Daisy. Okay, yeah, he went just, nuts about her. Dude, I was like, she's she, gonna call herself Daisy because I don't she was. Think a, you didn't know. Uh, that. Yeah, for you sure. Because, dude, she visited her dad. That. She clearly visited her dad at the end of the episode, at the end of the season. Oh, she, she didn't went call to herself go, Daisy. And she was, yes, she said, I'm, like, Daisy. I'm Daisy. So, yes, uh, I right. didn't know you she was right. gonna call herself you Daisy. Right. So he reacted a little crazy about her calling herself Daisy. I still like it. What I thought was cool was a whole new creature at the end. And he showed me who he oh, thought that, it might be. Well, it turns out that it is. Uh, where was it? I just I lost it. It was on the screen. It's one of the. It's one of the guys from the new. It was Lash. I think it's Lash, uh, from the newest uh, Inhuman series that okay. Joe Mad, uh, which by the way, uh, Kickstarter on Joe Mad's uh, new Battle Chasers project. Go give him money, please. Uh, for the look of my. No. <laughs> I don't want to. No. Uh, but I, uh, it looks good. It looks crazy. He, if he's going to be the main bad dude, I don't know anything about him. I'm going to I guess they did announce him at a show, so that's who it's going to be. Here's uh, what I got to say. Please, if, if anybody, I don't know why they would, and we're not big enough yet, but if at some point anybody from Marvel sees this, please don't expand it to like the last few episodes you finally read this bad guy. Uh, reveal him in the beginning and then have fun with him, uh, because that show really needs more fun. Listen, I mean, the last the season there's was gonna be a lot more okay. powers, though. There's gonna be a lot more powers. There though. better be, because that's this whole season about this is about. I mean, there better be. They're going out to find people with powers. There better be. They're building this team. There better. Be. I think it's gonna be great. I think it, I cannot wait. I won't say I'm season. excited. I'm interested. It's got my attention. <laughs> I have a passing interest. It's got my attention with the little like uh, in the shadow creature showing there at the end. So it's got my attention. Um, you know, she called herself Daisy. Whatever I expected that. Um, you know, seeing all the other guys like all you. I'm not afraid of her. You well, you should be okay. Um, yeah. Listen, I can't get excited for a show that I hated in the first season. In the second season, it's okay, and you know you really got to do I, a lot for this third season. I I'm excited for the show. I'm excited for the season. He liked the first season, so I don't know. I think it's just I think it's gotten better over time, and I think it'll keep getting better. Um, we're so here are the the key things that we're gonna intersect next well there's only really one key thing we're gonna intersect with because last season we kind of Inhumans. intersected no, no 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 we kind of intersected with um ultron but even that was just really piss poor intersection there was just like oh, oh civil so war blah 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 intersection civil war is going to be the big yeah. thing here's the problem civil war as a from the concept of the comics is a huge storyline and long they wouldn't do it though. There's no way they. I, I just had a crazy thought, and I'm like, they the only could, thing, the, they well, the, couldn't. They, there's no way. They the would only not thing do it. I could say is the only the only, the way I think they should do it on the show is. I want to see if you're gonna say what I'm thinking. They should have because remember in the if you haven't seen Ant Man, go see Ant Man for the love of God. Um, I mean, go see it. But yeah, it's, shut up. Go see it. It's it's good. <laughs> it's just not great. Um, but in the post credits of Ant Man, I don't care. If you're spoiled, it's been months, uh, two months now. Um, in the post credits of Ant Man, you see kind of a, a setup. A, they call them tags. There's a tag for a civil war, and Cap says that Tony's signing the accords, and they can't call him for some reason. Here's the problem. I think that's the the thing that they're going to argue over, and then once the inciting incident in in the civil war movie happens. Uh, that's where the actual fighting is going to become begin. I think we should see some sort of build up to those accords being signed. Maybe them getting a notice about it. Maybe some sort of interaction about them finding out that they're going to sign those accords, which makes the fact that they're secret even more important. Here's the thing. Here's what I was thinking. Which they will not do it. I know they won't. Do I mean, okay. So it would be. It would be. So crazy. why would you tell me anyway? It would be crazy. For them to do this, this would make zero sense. Um, <laughs> then why would you even suggest? Although, it, to me, it would be great because it probably would help the show a little bit. But the incident happens in Agents of Shield. Oh, the actual incident. The no, actual yeah. incident. Because we're having humans. 
No, which no, are it's, it's supposedly insanely powerful. So they, which in Civil War, it is a set of powered mutants or inhumans or whatever yeah, yeah. that caused the situation. But here's the thing: what that would do is that would create some sort of hunt against our team on the show, and you can't do that. I mean, they would have to because literally the whole premise of Civil War is there's going to be a hunt for superpowered humans or inhumans. Well, or right, but it's they in, can use in mutants, the but movies. In the movies, it's very much going to be the two the two factions, the two teams that are. See, you can't do that, man. If you want to, if you want to, Marvel. If you want to play the game where everything's intertwined, you gotta I, play see, the game. What I would say, some either something like that where it happens there. Or if it doesn't happen on agents, then some sort of direct involvement. Like I don't know. I think all of except for a season one's uh, what's it called uh, Captain America tie-in. All the tie-ins have been just kind of meh. Yeah, they just like oh this happened. Like in season one, it was like. Oh, uh, the that staff. Oh, Asgard. Like we just like talked about it for a few minutes, yeah. and that was whatever. And then the Captain America thing was a huge. I mean, like it changed the entire show. So that was great. I thought that was a great. It changed the show, but I mean, you still didn't. It's still a snippet. It was still like, oh, this happened. I mean, it was this happened, but like it happened. But we also saw agents flipping sides and stuff on the show, so it it really tied in a lot better than anything else. And then again with. Uh, after Thor of the Dark World, it was just like, hey, we're in London cleaning up. Right. So, it just, I really want them to have more of a direct interaction, whether that be with, I mean, okay, cool, you can have Jamie Alexander, Jamie Alexander on the show, here's the problem, she's got her own show now, so I don't even know if she's even available, so. Yeah, right? I mean, she's got her own show, and you know she's still going to be on Thor. Well, Thor's still like two, two years out. But still, I mean, she, there's no way she's available. Uh, regardless, I just don't think that you can keep shoving her into episodes uh, <laughs> to like make it tied in with the movies. I think they really need to bring like I bring in a heavy hitter, bring in Douglas, bring in Michael Douglas from from Ant Man. And there's no reason in, why in not. any fashion. Just listen, like, there's no way like that man him can calling him. Listen, that man to, has to a listen. He's a great actor, but that man, this is his first big movie in a while. He's had some movie releases, but not big ones. Yeah, I mean, and and for him to refuse money to be on a show, I don't even think it's that. Let's be serious. A, I think if he signed, he signed for whatever they want him to do. Well, yeah, absolutely. But I, I just think it's a matter of show direction and and, and intertwined universe. They need I to think, work on it better because this little snippet's like, oh, this happened is not working. It's not. Yeah, me, I mean, like working. this. Like I get it. It's intertwined, but like barely. You here, here, could make here's it not what I expect. Here's what I expect on. Here's what I expect on Agents of Shield in regards to Civil War. I expect that a couple of episodes prior to Civil War, and then uh, one or two episodes after, they're gonna have. They're going to be following the signing of those accords or whatever, which the accords are already going to be talking about how to manage these people with powers. Right. So then there's going to be an internal debate, probably between May and May and, and Daisy, about which side is better, which side is right, etc. And we're going to that see was that. Even, that was annoying in the last season. So if that happens, I'll that's, probably that's stop that's what I expect. That's what I expect is how they're going to approach it. Because if they don't. Then there's really no way to intersect the show with that movie because that's like a fight that's going to happen. Listen, I still don't know why May changed sides all of a sudden last season. So you know, for each his own, I guess. I mean, that was stupid on their end. Well, she felt betrayed. No, we already talked about this. I'm just saying. So we like, if they do that, if they do that, and like, I don't know. I, I, if they do that, if they play this whole game like May can't trust her again, uh, f that. I'm done with the show. I'm telling you right now, he'll be the only one reviewing that show because I will. <laughs> you just like disappear I'll from the just shot. Disappear from the shot. <laughs> like, I will <laughs> literally during the that process of reviewing, I'll just walk away. Anyway, so I'm excited. You're sort of excited. I'm not excited. I'm interested to see okay. what they do with. You're this. intrigued. If they if they do what I think they'll do, which is wait at least like, if not towards the end of the season or five episodes before the end of the finale. season, 
Mid season uh, finale reveal. Even then, that's kind of how they just go. do it right off the bat. That's kind of how they go because that's kind of that's how they revealed her. You need a home. lot to make the show even more exciting, Marvel. So do what you need to do. So, next. <laughs> this is next. 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 Uh, what else do we got? What else? Heroes. We got, we got uh, heroes. Yeah. Let's, let's give let's give, give a quick rundown of heroes. I Zachary and, Levi. I'm excited. Let's do it. I love Zachary Levi. I can't wait for that. Uh, I love him in Thor: The Dark World. I thought he really brought out Fendral. I I really didn't. I don't remember Fendral from the first one. Like I don't remember his personality. But in the second one, he was definitely there. You could definitely see Zachary Levi in it. Um, I loved Chuck, so I can't wait for. I'm that. I'm watching Chuck right now. I'm in season two, and I love it. So I I yeah, he's he's great. I don't love the fact that we're missing people. And now it is some years later. Obviously, it's been years since the show. Right. Uh, but I'm just not a huge fan of the fact that we're missing key characters. Um, I'm not surprised. I guess, I guess uh, Hayden Panettiere wasn't even approached, which I think is interesting. Like, I don't even know. She, I mean, I know Nashville is really popular, but... Yeah, supposedly she said flat out, like, she wasn't, she wasn't even aware a new show was happening. Um, supposedly. Uh... I love that oh, pre- HRG is oh, back. Oh, I love oh, HRG. Although so. it's funny, well, I, that's I like love that's Noah most actor, that's most so. of the show to me. Um, right? But here's the thing: uh, according to their official release, they said that it was scheduling. That's why not everybody could come back. Okay, I mean ske- uh, s- scheduling, ske- money scheduling. scheduling. It's hard to schedule that much money for people who I have mean, an listen, ongoing Nashville, show. Nashville, she's on Nashville, and Nashville is a very popular show. And, so she uh, probably she probably uh, she costs a lot more money these days. Yeah, I'll probably a lot more than originally. Right, exactly. So, and especially since it's not a full season, I'm, a, it's like I'm a, a little disappointed now. that Peter's not coming back. Milo, right. Milo. But again, he's he's a movie star. Now. Listen, well, he's not a big movie star. He's had some uh, like B movies that were really good B movies. He was in an A movie with Rocky. Well, I was like, he was... He, he was, was in was, Rocky. Right, that's okay, what I'm saying. But I mean, Rocky was, for him, wasn't... Like, he was the kid, which right. wasn't the main focus. I suppose. Um, he was in a very good B movie called... It was something with uh, where they operate on carnivores, uh, on, on dead people, where they... Cadavers? Cadavers. Cadavers. <laughs> carnivores. Word. Just like random right, carnivores. Just random, no, car, uh, <laughs> cadavers. Uh, dead people. They. Uh, it was. What was the name? Starts with a P. I don't know. I don't I'll know. Be on the but it was a very good movie. Uh, and then he also was in Gotham. He played, what, for two, three episodes? He played the bad guy? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. He played, uh, which he, he did played, a great uh, job. He played, Listen, he's he played, a great he played, what was it? What was the guy's name? Something Gray? Listen, I don't care. He uh, played Fifty Shades of Gray on the Gotham. But, uh... He's a great actor. He's not really in a lot of things, so I'm, but I wonder if he still felt like maybe he was worth more. And I mean, it could be that. It could be that. It could just be that the story just didn't call for it. If they designed a completely different story where only these like but Peter movers was supposed and to shakers, be the man, and so was uh, so was well, uh, Hero's back, and Hero's always going to be back. I never had a doubt about that. But Peter was a powerful player, and so was Sy- uh, Siler. Siler, right? Well, he's way more expensive than he used to be. He, uh, Zachary <laughs> Quinto. I'm sorry, you can't. Zachary hire Quinto Spock. is forget that he's Spock. He was American Horror Story. Literally, he's been on everything I've watched. So, so like, you, you pointed out the the one thing that costs less than the one movie out of the two that he's done. No, no, I'm saying, <laughs> but like, there, he's been on a lot of things. I just can't think of all the names, but he's been on a lot, and I've seen him in almost all of it. And that man's acting, like, yeah, he's a lot more. He's a great actor. He's more than probably Hayden. I, I or, think he is probably one of the best. Although. He was in. Uh, He's one of the best. He was in Hitman Forty Seven. I haven't watched it. It doesn't have good reviews. Well, I think I'm excited. But I that's really, not his. I part. love that show. Even when other people gave up on that show and people don't like certain certain seasons, I Listen, still I like, like that it. show. I, I like, like that show. I like even at the end of the fourth season where they ended, where they canceled. It, she jumped off the bridge or ladder or whatever it was that was ten thousand feet up top. Like I was like, when's the next part? Yeah, that like, was, and that to me that was, I thought it was kind of like, it, it it almost had an organic run, but then you brought it back to the beginning, and then you just didn't follow through. No. I think a fifth season would have just killed that show. I think it would have been great. Yeah, 
And but, it, it could have even been only 13 episodes. They could have come back with a mini season yeah, to finish it just off. Just to wrap it up, either. To not be even like, to right. finish it up. Even if you had plans to do this like later on, sure. you could still end it in a way that like still leaves it open. Like her jumping off the thing technically ends it and that still to leaves me, it to open because now the world found out. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like. But to me, that like sets up this really chaotic world. Right. And now it's like, what, what happens now? Yeah. So, so whatever, but listen, we're it excited. Be it be uh, we love the people that are back. We love the new people that are. I added. like that the mom is back. Uh, listen, it's just it's gonna be exciting times. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna enjoy it. I loved all four seasons, even though some of it got weird. I still loved it. So, um, what else we got? Walking Dead. Walking Dead is it. So let's talk about Fear of the Walking Dead first, because that's the new one. Uh, Fear of the Walking Dead is set before. Uh, the Walking Dead. It's not set in the same area. It's set in Los Angeles. Uh, it is right as everything happened. So the like six months we missed while Rick was out, that's what we're working with. Right. Uh, I'm not super excited about that concept just because uh, I watched like, the first like episode. Said, and like this is what I said to him. I said, if you're able to watch the show knowing what you know from The Walking Dead, then you're gonna like it. If you're unable to do that, you're going to hate it. So, if nope. you're... Basically, knowing that they're all going to die regardless... Right. Or the world's going to go to hell. Right. Uh, either you're going to accept that, and you're going to watch it, and you're going to like it. I just feel like, to me, it, it, it can only be one season. I mean, it can only can, be one season, or you just make it like... Here's the thing. Or, or it then just becomes another Walking Dead show with a different cast. Here's the thing. It's technically feels like it's... How many, how many was it weeks or months that he was knocked out? I think it was like six months. Six months. So if it's supposed to be six months before, you can potentially get away with two, maybe three seasons at the get most. Hell out of here, at dude. the most. But here's the thing: two is doable. Two is doable in a good fashion. Three, I feel like you're stretching the story. And you're just really dragging on them figuring out what the hell's going on. Because there's no way this doesn't become just... Because I'll tell you right now, I watched the first episode, and there's already two more, so which means there's total three right now. I watched one, I'm behind two. After watching the first episode, a lot happens in the first episode. And the world already knows shit's going down. So it's it's hard for me to see... So even if you say, all right, some of these characters are going to survive and they're going to be able to fight through... In Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. So then how is this not just Walking Dead in Los Angeles? You know? I mean... How do you not just seriously find a way to get to San Francisco, take a paddle boat, no matter how here's long it takes, the, the get over to Alcatraz, and then you're safe. Here's just the bring thing. some food. Here's the thing. This could be... Oh, to San Francisco. Th if they're called, even if it's called Fear the Walking Dead, they could potentially show for the first two seasons the beginning, and then in the third season they can bring it to the present. I just again, I, and even then, even if they do that, what's the point? What's the point of having? Then it's literally just milking a cash cow. We're talking too much. This is going to be over an hour and a half. Easy. Um, but yeah, so you know, if they're gonna be like, all right, we brought these guys to to a certain point where they're doing crazy stuff, right? And then let's go talk about these guys who aren't there. So if we kill everybody off on this show, right. or kill off the main characters so that we can bring in different characters, we can t we can bring these people up where they haven't done those things yet and they're not super crazy yet. So then you just can see still good things because everyone on everyone on The Walking Dead has done some really bad shit. So we're at a point on that show where I mean, almost if they if they like still... don't do bad shit, you're surprised. Like, well, that's it's the like thing. if I they mean, walk away the from thing. a situation and no one died, you're like. But here's the thing: in season three, let's say they'll go to current time, they could literally. I mean, this could be different things that these people do compared to what Rick Squibb. I just don't see the point. I don't see the point of a show that is literally going to be the same show in a different city. And it, 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 I mean, it's a mind you, mind you, I watch NCIS, NCIS, LA, I was going to say, and NCIS New Orleans. But here's the thing: not one of those shows is the same, except that it is though the same 
basic formula. Right. That, like, the same overreaching formula. But, like, L.A. is nothing like NCIS, and New Orleans just has a whole different flavor. But, like, C- like CSI. Every, I've seen, like, bits and pieces from every CSI version, Miami, New York, whatever, and to me it's like, this is the same show, and I just, I always thought it was one show, honestly. I thought they just moved. New York, New York CSI is the same, or not New York, I'm sorry, um, the Miami one, but that actor, like, it's the same in the but aspect even, of even CSI, now, but, like, but, like, even like, now with C- CSI Cyber is terrible. Even now with CSI Cyber, it's the same thing. True, but I would even say CSI Cyber is better than Miami just because of that god awful actor who quit, by the way, the show to become because he thought he was a badass. So he quit to become an actor and it didn't work out, so he came back to the show. Well, Besides, that's, regard, that's a tangent. Regardless, uh, my point is, I just don't see a point in watching a Walking Dead here's show the thing. in another city here's the where thing, it's just going to be the is, same stuff. But here, this is not supposed to be... This is supposed to be a miniseries show. This is not supposed to be... You don't think it's not supposed to be It's full? not supposed to be. There's no way. They can't do it. So this is just going to be precursor to the existing show. I would assume this is a precursor to the existing show and they'll maybe last three seasons at the most. Oh, God, I hope it's not even that long. I really hope... I hope it's one season and we move on with our lives. If you want to give me, like, an anthology series... I'm fine with that. If you want to give me kind of like Telltale, right? Telltale season one is completely different cast of season two, right? Right? Telltale's Walking Dead games. Oh, um, yes and no. So, but regardless, it's a it's a different viewpoint. So, if you want to give me, if Fear of the Walking Dead becomes like an anthology series, give me like eleven episodes a season of a completely different cast right. in a different city, sure. different. Cool. I'm fine with that. Kind of like American Horror Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to do it that way, I'm all for that. Right. I'm, I'm even almost constantly. A I'm even. Set. I'm even almost more for that than continuing the main show. Like I'm, I still like the main show. I just think we're at a point where, like, we're it's a pot that's boiling, and like, it's either going to boil over or you're going to turn down the heat, and either either is going to be a bad solution. So. It, so are it, we going to go into Walking Dead? Yeah. All right. So Walking Dead, I'm excited for. He's wrong. It's not boiling over. Uh, I just want to see what they do with Rick. If they kill him, well, that's the if boiling they point. Stay with him. That's the boiling point. Well, I mean, what's the boiling point? If they the boiling kill him, point, they kill him. Yes, yeah, so you turn down the heat. Without Rick, what's that show? Dude, you still people love Daryl. People love Glenn. People. Who's gonna be lo- the leader? Honestly, no one. Morgan. Get the hell out of here! They brought him back. He was he nothing the hell out. Dude, a, a side mention character from episode Who's one. Who's going to be really involved in this? He's going to be <sighs> on, from what I just saw in the trailer, he looks like he's going to be on Rick's side, I, even though he just watched Rick to kill. I I don't think, I he should not be the leader. I just don't, like, regardless, listen, Rick. I think Rick, I, Rick needs to die. I'm sorry. I mean, doesn't I don't Rick think, die in the comics, though? No. I mean, at least not for a long time. I, I've seen, like... I, I mean, like, I know he's supposed to have like, an eye patch and no arm. Or, something. or he's supposed to have no hand and no, uh, an eye patch. Right. Well, here's the thing. I'm, I'm at a point where... I'm with Rick. But it seems like nobody fucking is with Rick. I'm with Rick. So, I mean, on the show. So, like, I, I feel like everybody... No, I'm with Rick. <laughs> I feel like everybody... Like, I, I don't want him to kill Rick. Everybody wants it's Rick's It's going to be hard for me to accept the show without Rick. Everybody wants Rick's solution. And if Rick doesn't Rick's die methods. in the comics, then do not kill Rick. But here's the thing. That dude's going to want to do other things with his life, not just play that one character on that one show until he dies. Oh, he loves that show. He loves that I family. I know, but he's got to want to do other things with it's his life. It's not like he can. They have this whole summer and everything off. Trust me, Dude, he's perfectly been filming fine. for three months. He's, trust me, he's got plenty of time to do what he needs to do if he wants to do extra stuff. And if he wants to stop, he'll stop. Who cares? I'm not a problem with that. The thing is, is they keep... Re- Listen, Supernatural is at 13 seasons. And so is NCIS. So is all them shows. So clearly, your, your freaking theory is wrong. All right? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's though. the thing. NCIS is different. I, no, it's not. Listen, there's not zombies it on just, NCIS. It's just there are terrorists though. I so. wonder where they're gonna go with it. Like, is Rick? Here's the thing. Find, figure out what Rick needs to be. If he's gonna be the guy that people are like, all right, we need to follow him, but he's a dick. 
then that's where Rick stays at. Do not jump back and forth. Either he figures out, okay, listen, I went a little crazy. Yeah. I went a little I'm crazy. With I'm with you. And, the, the, this seesaw and, thing that they have with him where he's like, he goes nuts, and then he's like, whoa, that was crazy. I'm, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to not do that. Listen, he's that. went nuts. he goes crazy again. He's went nuts before. Not to this level, but he's went nuts before. There's, every so, time it seems crazier. Listen, crazier. so they need to just figure out, all right, listen, I get it. World is hell. I've been going nuts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally be calm. But I'm gonna have to tell people, listen, this is how it is. If you don't like it, we move on with our lives. You go your way. Nobody's telling you to follow me. But here's the thing: they, because they're a family, they don't want him to do bad things. They don't want him. To He's do not doing bad things. That guy literally killed somebody, just like Rick predicted. And he caused problems, just like Rick predicted. That man in this world needs to get shot. I'm sorry. There's already oh, a I'll, chaos I'll in this world. He needs to get shot. He finally got shot because the idiots in front of Rick finally realized that he needed to get shot. It took him to kill somebody else to get shot. Right. I mean, I'm with you. I mean, it was bad enough that he was. It wasn't bad enough that he was beating his wife and potentially his kid, which who was scared of him. So, you know, it, he had to go and kill somebody with a sword to finally get a bullet in the head. <laughs> a sword? He did have to kill somebody with a sword. I'm paranoid. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I want the show... Just please figure just, out... Yeah. Just please Rick, figure Rick out is, what Rick is. Rick. Rick is Either he's full beef. cycle or he's finally Rick back is to my normal main beast. I feel normal. like some of the people who used to... By the way, world, Andrew Lincoln, dude, you're a god. Some if of the, you ever see this, you're a guy. Some of the, nobody's going to watch the end of this. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> so, some of the people who used to be bigger on the show aren't as big. I feel like like Glenn, they've tossed around his character a little bit. Listen, Glenn's supposed to die with a baseball bat, by, by the way. That was the little significant thing that you saw last season yeah. where he had the bat. Yeah, um, I mean, I get it. He's supposed to die with a baseball bat. I don't want him face. to die, though. I don't want him to die either. I love Glenn. I loved watching this little geeky running around. I squeeze through tiny things because I'm so agile. Kid yeah. come to a badass, and I want him to stay there as a badass with Norman Reedus. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I I want him to stay. I don't think they'll kill him. I I don't I, know. They came pretty close last season. Yeah, they did. They came pretty damn close to this. Yeah, they did. Twice. Jeez. Sheesh. Sheesh. Twice. Um, three times, and then he and then he threatened three times. Him. If you count the beginning of that last then, season, then where he almost got his head chopped off, but he th threatened the hell no. Out of that. <laughs> uh, he threatened the hell out of that dude, and uh, he should have killed him. I'd have killed him super hard. You already gave him a warning. I'd have killed him to death. You gave him a warning in front of everybody else. Listen. Anyway. Oh my god. All right, pick it up. Time out. Hello. Time in. Um, I don't know. I, I'd have killed that dude, but I, I don't know. I just I'm, I'm, I'm tired. After six seasons, I'm tired. Well, I'm not tired after six seasons. I just want him to figure out with Rick. Like, listen, I get it. You gotta get, keep it interesting. I, but him going back to normal and going back to cycle and going back to normal and going back to extra cycle is not keeping it interesting. It's keeping it annoying. So like, get past that. Either make him full out cycle and everybody just has to accept it, or have him calm down and permanently calm down, but be able to really like think like a cycle. So like, listen, I'm calm, but people are gonna have to die. You know, if when it comes between us, our family, and other people that cause bad decisions, we're going to have to shoot them. Right. Or kick them out. Most likely shoot them, because if we kick them out, they'll bring back some bad guys. Right. And, you know. Yeah. So. Now, I mean, I don't know. I, I want it to be better. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting over it. That's the problem. I feel like it's, it's losing its I'm appeal, not. and... I don't I'm know, I'm just close. not I'm not as excited to watch it as I used to be. And maybe that's just because I see all these other shows now and I, I have just way more because look at it this way, six years ago, what did you have? You had The Walking Dead, and that's it. 
like six years ago. Nothing else is really on six seasons. Oh yeah, I mean you have Walking Dead, Breaking Bad. You have, I mean, but like was... I'm saying on like the zombie or superhero or based on comic books kind of stuff. Nothing. I mean, I can't think of it. I mean, you had like little shows like The Cape or uh, what was it, The No the Ordinary Ron, Family. The Cape. Uh, like, you know, stuff that just wasn't that good or that big. So, when The Walking Dead came along and it was done really well and it was based on a comic book, then that's what they, I mean, they paved the way because they made it cool to make a show based on comic books. And that's why we have The Arrow Four Seasons. That's why we have, um... Although the last Asians season of Arrow seasons. had its issues, though. You know, but, like, that's why we have these shows... Uh, now, granted, you say Smallville was around, blah, blah, blah. Smallville didn't... Smallville was around. Smallville was around, but here's the thing. Smallville wasn't really based on comic books. I don't care. I mean, it was. No. I mean, it wasn't based on it, a comic book, but it was based on the premise of a hero from the comic. Sure, but I mean, so so's Gotham, but, you know. Yeah, but I mean, Smallville did a good job. <laughs> but my Smallville, point, my sorry, point, really My good. point is, Walking Dead... Took it to the next level. I think they really brought in the writing portion of it, making sure that the show's written really well. Because, like, Smallville was good. I think it was entertaining. But it was, like, early 2000s CW. Well, the WB still at the time. Right. Like, it it was okay. Listen, I'm like, not getting sick of it. I'm excited. Um, just please, 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 please figure, figure out, out the Rick. whole Rick thing. I, and I think, honestly, I think... At the end of this season, we'll get the Rick, whichever one it is, and that'll be it. I really do think. I hope it's before the end of the season, but I'm, I'm just worried that, okay, Rick's going to start out being a psycho in this season, and at the end he's going to mellow out, and it's like, the, and then and the next season he's going to be mellow, and then he's going to become psycho again. And I hope that doesn't happen. I hope they just figure it out and we get the Rick that we need to get. I'm not going to lie. I would Although, not I mean, be I'm upset. Guessing... I would not be in the least bit upset if they canceled this series. Uh, That's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I'm, nobody, way, I'm nobody, way not excited. Before. Nobody cares for you. I, I disagree with him. That's my opinion. No, that's my opinion. Keep your opinion to yourself. I I want to see this sh- this season just because it's like unanswered issues. Um. If they didn't set up another season, I wouldn't be mad. But they will because they get amazing views. So, oh, I'm sure. And I'm, I'm just saying that's that's where I'm at. I'm with, more with, without. I'm more without, excited without, about this than uh, quite a few other shows. Without them doing something to really intrigue me into continuing to follow the storyline, meh. Like, at listen, least, we, like, we're getting the 90 minute season fina- uh, season premiere. Uh, so I'm hey, I mean, if that blows me away, I'm, I'll I'll eat my words. I'll listen. Make alphabet soup and listen, chew that. Shit I don't up. know about you, but the first episode of last season blew me the away. Yeah, but then it was like awesome. Not really. That's how I felt. Not really. Not until almost the mid season is when literally after the the mid season was still badass. And then it got boring as so. hell. Right. So after the mid season finale, when they came back. It dragged so out. like so like am I, am I so get the half, first half so I should get half a season every season like, no don't I don't, don't, I don't season, then. no I don't agree I don't agree with that but I'm saying like you're saying that the season wasn't good but it was you just keep forgetting that it was because the second half was boring the second half dragged like hell I just, I'm still excited though I I don't want it to drag I want more excitement I want more here's the thing a lot of people a lot of people that will fast that would argue against us is like oh well you gotta build here's the thing yes you have we're in season seven, listen you have six. 13 we're to 20 six. episodes to build absolutely here's the problem and Marvel's already proven this they said that about agents of shield and most people did not like the first season of agents of shield because they were taking forever you need to keep people's attention. That's why there are a lot of shows out there that keep people's attention. A perfect example was Arrow in the first two seasons. You couldn't stop. Yeah? You couldn't stop. You were like, uh, what is this guy going to do next? Yeah, I mean, it was a fast-moving show. Like, in the first episode, is they, they set up everything they needed yeah. to set up. They really pretty much set up everybody's personality. Now, granted, did they play around sometimes? Yeah, like, Thea was kind of somebody they didn't know what they wanted to do with for the first couple seasons. Fine. 
for the first. But it still kept your attention. But man. like it, you put your characters on the board and then you play chess, man. Like you put your pieces out and you play chess. You don't sit there for twenty minutes and lay out the the chess I don't, board. Like, I don't need. The characters here's the, the thing. Characters. Here's the thing. I don't need four episodes for them to get to a destination. Because that's literally what it was on season, uh, mid-season premiere for the second half. They literally were like, "Oh, we're gonna go to Washington D.C. Oh, now we made we made we met this guy. He kind of was creepy, but he tells us there's this town. And now we're gonna take two episodes to get to this town. And then we're gonna take four episodes to figure out how we're gonna take over this town because people are stupid in this town. I don't need all that. Okay." One episode, oh, they're idiots. Second episode, time to take over. Like, I don't need that much planning. I get it. They planned. But it wasn't even so much... That, listen, I don't want to talk about last season. Let's let's hope this new season is good. Well, that's I, what I'm saying. I mean, I that's what I'm saying for this season. season. I'm hoping this season doesn't drag on. I want like, it the to first be faster. Half, I want it to, to... Just more things need to happen. Because here's the thing. You just, like... You, 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 you sprinkled... Uh, what's his face... And I think it's just telling us that it's getting close, oh, okay. or that it's so, playing. I see. So it's it's you sprinkled what's his face. I always forget his name. The the guy, the ninja guy, Morgan. Morgan. Um. Uh. So you sprinkled Morgan all over the season, and then at the end, like, literally the. How last did you forget Morgan's name? I forget. I forget everybody's name, dude. God. So you sprinkled him all over the season, and it's like, oh, okay, now he's here for like one, like half an episode total. Like, he helped out the dudes and... Yeah, the literally about a episode, total of half episodes. Like, but here's the thing. He was never... And this is the first season, they said... Because he was never supposed to be a character that's around that much. I know. But now, he's going to be around. That's And that's fine. I have no problem with that. It's just that... Just do it. Just you know, bring him in. Although, I do like, have he a theory. Was right, he was literally right behind them. When they left the church, he was right behind them. Yeah, he didn't, ta he didn't need to take... The entire oh, season, season to get to them. I he just, clearly I, was looking for them, for Rick. He knew where Rick was because he was watching them. Like, why didn't he approach them at the freaking church? He didn't see them at the church. He sure did. He was right there. Are you sure? Yeah. I thought he got there after they left. No, I'm No, because sure. he did. Because he, he did get there af right after they left because he found the, the map. Oh, well, whatever. He found the map, and I don't know. I I just think that he he should have been around more. I want more things to happen in the next season, and oh. Morgan was following them after Terminus to that church, and as we saw Morgan for the first time, there was a W on a tree. Now I don't think the wolves were that far ahead. So is he with the wolves? No. Did he? It wasn't a it? W. He carved. The, it wasn't a W. It was. The, was it not a W? No. I he sworn carved his little marking on it. Okay, I could have sworn it was a W. No, because that's when you saw him. You saw him carve into the tree, okay. and then he stepped out okay. onto the rail. Okay, I thought for a second I thought it was a W, and I'm like, oh man, that would be a crazy twist if he was with the wolves. No, I don't think. No. I mean, I mean, he was crazy last time. Rick, he saw could him. be, I suppose. I just, but no, yeah. that wouldn't make sense because he fought them in the. Um, yeah. Yeah. And okay. Well, whatever. That being said, most of that's our thoughts, guys. It's yeah. been an hour and twenty minutes. I'm sure <laughs> some things we're gonna cut out because we had to pick up phone calls and stuff like that. That being said, you just speed through your because I made like funny things. Oh uh, yeah, I guess you did. <laughs> uh, but that being said, I mean, listen. Yeah. Overall, we're pretty excited for this uh, season. I don't know. There's really nothing I'm not excited about. If you, you at least a little bit, at least a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like there's some. Like I said, the walk, the there's some dead, one to. Watch it, it's it. like bottom up, like the Walking Dead, Supergirl, I Zombie. What? You put uh, Walking Gotham. Dead Gotham. that far? I, I'm really not excited about it. Like, I'm, I'm, I am, I want to see it, but I'm not excited about it. Uh, for me... I, like, here's the thing. I'm more excited about Gotham. More excited about Gotham. For me, starting from Gotham. the top, my top two is Arrow Flash and, and Walking Dead. And then Arrow. Wait, no. Arrow didn't have a great season I mean, I'll, I'm with you there. I just like, I, I just like that universe. So that's why they're my top two. Flash, Arrow, 
Um, I mean, everyone's still I'm out even, there. I'm not even counting Legends, because that's like after the midseason. Uh, Flash, Arrow, uh, I would say Agents, just because I'm a huge fan of Agents. I'm not a huge fan. So Agents uh, Agents is definitely my lower. Gotham is a, is on that list, just because it, it's, it's going to be good. I'm excited for Gotham because I like the trailer. I um, like seeing all the villains. And, oh, Heroes... Uh, the eye zombie. So that's and, my top four. Walking Dead, Flash, Walking Dead, Arrow, Heroes. That's my top four. Flash, Arrow, Gotham, Heroes. Man, you put Gotham before Heroes? Yeah, I just there's it's missing care it's missing characters that I, I really want. Yeah, but Gotham had a shitty season. But this looks to be a more more interesting season. We'll see. I you know what I, I'll read you that. Gotham, I mean, sorry, <laughs> not Gotham. <laughs> Flash, Arrow, Agents, Heroes, and then Gotham Fifth. All right, I'll give you that. Agents is like my lowest. Anyway, if you guys have any thoughts on this list, drop it down below. If you watch this far, thank you. Seriously, seriously. We if you watch this it. far, if you watch this far, drop a comment down below, and I will send you a free game on Steam of my choosing. Yeah, but I'm a. Fr- yeah. I'm gonna send you a free game on Steam. Yeah, our game. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll As give you always, guys a free game if, if you, you watch I'm this far. Say something. Me- no, say- message us. Yeah. You know what? Send us a message so that nobody P- else can cheat. PM so no one can cheat. Yes. PM us. If you're at the end of this right here, if you're watching this, PM us. You get a free puzzle platformer. PM. Send our, us a private Our message. puzzle platformer on your Steam account. Uh, so, yeah. Appreciate you guys for watching. As always, I've been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off.